What's going on guys? It's your boy Chili bringing you another Lego review. This time we're kind of doing two. Um, I actually saw this set a lot. I really enjoyed the movie. So I really wanted to pick this up and I kept putting it off, putting it off and putting it off. And good thing I did because it was $21 at my local Walmart as where on lego.com i think it's still like a 50 dollar set or a 40 dollar set or something like that so i got it about 50 percent off and right after i bought this i went to target on the july 1st to try to see if they had any of like the new sets coming out at target before i drove two hours to the closest lego store to me and i happened to find the little poly bag micro build of the same set pretty much so i was like you know what? i should just pick that up and put both of them in the same video why not it's the same build pretty much except you know smaller couple little differences to it that i'll talk about when we get to the builds as you can see i've already opened it and i've already opened and built this as well so you're kind of just getting the overview of the box but starting out with the poly bag you kind of just got you know it's uh shang chi and the great protector set number 30454 with 55 pieces so not a lot but i mean it's a poly bag like it was like five bucks i think i actually saw some somebody selling one of these at brick fair for like eleven dollars so I'll tell you the markup you get from brick fair <laughs> compared to you know finding it in the store they had like maybe two of these left in the target i went to like maybe two I, it might have been more and i just happened to find this one in a weird spot but i found two of these and i i only bought one i, I don't need two i don't need a seal one i like opening mine up and building them but you know the front of the bag looks pretty good you've got the shang chi logo with the 10 rings logo kind of right there the lights are really reflecting off of this you know whatever you want to call this cellophane whatever it is and then you've got the Great Protector micro build there and a little uh, Shang-Chi minifigure or Sean minifigure, depending on if you want to go by what he called himself in America versus what he called what his actual name was. Now, the back of the bag, same deal up top, has it in a, uh, the set name in different languages. It is a 2021 Lego set or poly bag. And then, you know, kids go free with a paid adult ticket to Legoland. So that's kind of cool if you're trying to get your kid in for free. You got a little coupon on the back of this. Then you got your warnings so that kids don't choke on the bag. Your warnings so kids don't choke on the parts. And where your components and stuff are made as well as the barcode. So not too much with this bag. You know, it's, it's a poly bag. Like, I wouldn't expect too much. It does have a little building back here in the back. And a bridge. And another little build in there but it's a poly bag not too much with it with the instructions you know with most probably all poly bags you get these folded up instructions and you get you know the little box art or the the bag art i should say and then the feedback to win and then there's your little simple instructions on how to how to build the little micro build so not too much with this, but I figured it would be cool to have the big one and the micro version of it. So I wanted to buy both. And so I did. Now for the box, for the the bigger version, it's going to be, you know, Lego Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings by Marvel Studios. Set number 76177, Battle at the Ancient Village with 400 pieces. Now, like I said, this is like $49.99 or $39.99 or something like that on Lego.com. Still, to this day, and this movie's been out for like a long time now. And these sets have been out for at least a year. And at my local Walmart, I found it on sale. They had knocked them down to like $31. And I was like, you know, that's still a little bit too much. And I was going through Walmart one day. and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to buy it thought it was 30 something i think it was actually 32 is what they had marked it down to first and then got to the register and rang it up and it was actually only 
21. So I was like, oh, okay, well, you know what? I saved about 50%. I'm happy with that. Now, I absolutely love, I, I actually love this movie. I thought it was a really good movie. Thought uh, Disney did very good with it. And then coming to the box of this, I love the box art on this. Like that anime style, like, like artwork for the back. It looks amazing. And then of course you got like the dragon or the great protector here, the dragon, whatever you want to call it coming out of the water and everybody kind of fighting around it with Morris over here, kind of just chilling. You've got like a more like realistic drawing of Shang-Chi. And then at the bottom, I guess this is a symbol for the movie itself because it's not the 10 ring symbol, which I'm not entirely sure, but I'm sure one of y'all in the comments can let me know. And it does say it's a building toy, whatever. But then you got your minifigures, which are Morris, if you really count him as a minifigure, or her, whatever its sex actually is. Then you got Shang-Chi, Xilin, Win Wu, and the Death Dealer. So you get quite a good lineup of minifigures, like most of the main named characters in this set. But that box art, I mean, just look at it. It is gorgeous. I love the way, like, they took that anime style, like, cartoon deal and incorporated it into the, the box art of this. I think it looks absolutely amazing. One of the best box arts I think I've ever seen just because of, I, I don't know. I just love the way the artwork looks. It looks so good to me. Now, going to the bottom, you've got that it is a 2021 Lego set as well. Barcode, legolife.com app. There's a lot of box damage on this, but it was probably sitting in Walmart for like a year at least. And then you've got the Lego um, logo with the set number. The side of the box, you got Shang-Chi in Lego form or a minifigure form, I should say. Looking really good there. And the Marvel logo. The rest of it's just kind of black and has this red mixed in like his suit is. So really like this. Really love this box art. The other side, you're going to have the same deal with that black and red. With the Lego and uh, movie logo. And the set number. Some different languages here, which I don't know what they say. And the choking hazard. The top of the box... You're going to have the actual size of the Shang-Chi minifigure, where your components are made, Lego logo, set number, and the movie logo. But, I mean, just look at that box art. Like, I can't talk about it enough. That box art looks absolutely amazing. Like, I, I don't know. Like, I don't think I've seen a box art that I've liked as much as this one, but... I don't, I don't even know. That box art to me just looks so good. I think they did a really good job on the box art for, for a set that's not even like, like this isn't like Iron Man or, or, or Captain America or, you know, Spider-Man or Batman or anything like that. This is Shang-Chi. I mean, it probably, I mean, it, obviously it wasn't like the biggest named like Marvel movie ever. Compared to the, you know, the other ones. But I think Lego did a way better job on this than they do on almost all the other sets that they do as far as the box art. I can't talk good enough about the box art. Now on the back, you're just going to kind of see more of that anime style, like artwork. Like, looks absolutely amazing. Even looks just as good on the back of the box. You're going to have, you know, your great protector flying around there. Shang-Chi and, uh, shoot, how do you say his name again? Win Wu, Win Wu, fighting on the back with the Death Dealer kind of looking off at Xilin there and Morris just doing Morris things. And then it shows kind of the display function of it where you can have them two set up like fighting around the Great Protector. So again, absolutely amazing box art. Absolutely love it. It does have thumb tabs, so of course I did cut it. My extra parts are kind of just in there floating around for right now because I still haven't decided to buy anything to keep my extra parts in. Need to do that. Getting tired of having a bunch of boxes that every time I turn it a certain way, it dumps them out. 
but getting away from the box and getting into the instruction that same box art on the front looks even better they kind of like white it this out so it, it gives it like a different like look to it i don't i love the artwork on this set again i know i've said it a lot now but the artwork looks absolutely amazing good job lego good job the designer of the box you nailed this one like absolutely nailed this one so anyway it's got the same style as the front of the box I'm not going to talk too much about it again the back here is going to be your inventory of all your pieces then you're going to have a bunch of sets that i don't even think you can get anymore like i don't think you can get these mechs anymore um i don't think you can get the ghost rider car up there anymore that is still available at least at my walmart it is um and i don't think you can get that like car or that van anymore um i don't think but so those sets are kind of irrelevant now you put the last pieces on on page 70 which is going to be instruction number 154 technically i guess no 155 it said it right there i had my finger covering it i guess and then you start off with building uh xiling actually you do shang chi and win Wu last so three bags for it not a big build but still i really like it nice nice artwork again like i said but anyway guys i'm gonna get everything set up and i'll be back in a second All right, guys and we're back as you can see got it every everything set up and ready to go now these are two similar but completely different builds as you should know you know being the micro build versus the actual like full size set build um still love the way that the dragon looks in the full size set I mean, of course, in the micro build, you're kind of getting something that's micro, so it's not going to probably look as good as the full size, but still looks all right. But getting into these minifigures, and then we're going to talk about, you know, like the difference between the two sets minifigures or the micro build versus the full size build. But we'll start off with little uh, Morris here, if it'll focus on him. There we go. Okay. So Morris is just kind of like a plain mold. Like there's nothing really special about this in my opinion. He does have some good detailing on like the wings there. Like it does not want to focus on Morris. Morris, let focus. And yeah, I mean, he looks okay. It's not the best, not the worst character. Sorry, my hand's in the way, but it's making it focus on that, on Morris instead of, you know, the set in the back. But he looks all right. There's nothing really special. As you can see, he's just a plain mold. Like, and I know he didn't have a face in the movie, but his wings were actually colorful in the movie. So maybe if they would have just added some color to the wings, it would have brought it out a little bit. But other than that, it's just, it's just a, a tan glob of nothing. So moving on from him to um, Xylene here. Let me get her set up on her little stand that I got. So Xylene, really good looking character. I mean, there's nothing very special about the about her or Shang-Chi, to be honest. Like they do have their like dragon armor on, which looks really good. The back has a lot of good detail on the back as well. But you get to the legs and there's just like it's just black. So there's really nothing to it. Has a nice little face, got some lipstick on there, some red lipstick, and I honestly don't remember. Yep, yeah, she does have a little, like, fighting face on there. I was going to say, I honestly don't remember if she had two faces or not. But, you know, okay character, not the best, not the worst that I've seen. So, it's just, you know, it, it's what you get. <laughs> as long, as well as with uh, Shang-Chi here. He's about the same as uh, Xilene is. He gets, you know, his dragon armor. I don't know why his hand was turned, like, sideways like that. He gets this, like, 
you know, it's supposed to be the pole from the movie, but it doesn't do it justice to me. It's just, you know, one of those stick pieces. And it's not going to focus well enough for you to see that his armor does have, like, scales on it. Maybe if I get it in the light a certain way. There you go. You can kind of see in the light that he does have, like, shinier scales on it. The back is done in the same way. Yeah, you can see the scales better on the back. And then his face, he's got his little stoic face, and then he's got a mad face as well. So, nice looking character again, but not the worst and not the best I've ever seen. The Death Dealer is probably one of the better ones out of this set. Actually, I think Win Woo is probably the best out of this set. But the Death Dealer looks pretty good. Um all dark like navy blue ish color like got the 10 rings logos got some extra like knobs there you can see in the light there he's got some detailing all over it's just dark blue so it's hard to like show it up on camera and then his face looks rather awesome he's got he's these two i think they're called size he's got those as weapons the back of him couple more knobs a decent back print and he's got a back head print too but it's really not one to show up on camera that good like i'm sorry if y'all can't see that but really dark characters for some reason don't like showing up on my camera and then with win woo you have probably the best character out of this set just because he's got so much detailing on him like you got chest print waist print leg print more like calf print and then you've got uh footprint as well like he is super detailed and turning him around you can see like it just looks so good they did such a good job on this character that it kind of makes the other one seem like they're trash <laughs> like this is like the best character out of the set i think with all that detailing on the front he does come with his with five of the 10 rings. So if you want all 10 rings, you'd have to buy this set twice. Or I think there's two other sets that come with rings, I think, out of this lineup. I don't even know if they're still available or not. I think it's like the car, ch is it the car chase one? Dang, I can't even remember now. But there's a couple other sets that come with more of the rings. And, but like I said, if I'm going to get all 10 rings i'm just gonna buy two of these sets since it was only 21 dollars, and walmart still has like two or three more of them and then the back print looks just as good as the front does like amazing little character here and his front face is you know more stoic and then he has no back face so just know you are not getting a second face with him he's just mean all the time i guess now moving on to the micro build minifigure you get another shang chi and dang, i cannot get him on the the uh little thing i got here there we go you get shang chi again again he's got that red like dragon armor on no other details to him so he's the same as the other one the only difference with him is he comes with this gold stick as where this one comes with the the brown one so that's really the only difference between these two characters that i could find um while i'm dropping them so it's the same exact character just a cheaper way to get shang chi if you want him and you get the little gold pole as well now moving on from those to the actual builds i'm going to start off with this micro build like, you can tell it's not, like, the greatest thing in the world. I mean, it uses simple parts. Like, these are, like, motorcycle or bike parts that they attach these little little pieces here to. And they do move. Like, this whole thing is posable however you want to pose it. The, the head moves. The, you know, the mouth moves here. Like, everything is kind of posable. The tail moves in two different locations. So everything's posable, so these little arms do move, but it's not the greatest. It does come with this blue little blast to be like the water from the big set as well. And then with this, you can actually 
display it with Shang-Chi kind of riding. He, it's kind of not a non-traditional instead of like setting him up like, like, you know, foot down, you put him where his back little hole there, where he would normally like, like sit. And you kind of just have him standing there like so. So there's your little micro build. Not a lot to talk about with it. Like you can see it's got white, it's got red, it's got these little like teal colored blocks as well. Like it does look rather nice to be a micro build. It follows suit to the to the big set build pretty good. So I enjoy it. I'm glad I got it. And I can set it up next to my bigger build. So now zooming out for the bigger build here, you are gonna see a lot different than the micro build, right? Like it looks incredible to me. I really like this set. I, I love the way the dragon looks. He looks absolutely amazing. Now he is set up in the same color scheme where it's red, these little till bricks, and then white. And then he has a bigger like water base here with the two water spouts shooting out, which I'll I demonstrate their you know function later. All of this is also movable and posable, like from the the tail down. It kind of moves the only thing that doesn't really move is this body here but everything else is pretty poseable to the front and back it does not pose side to side but as you can see well some of these do because they're on ball joints so like i can i thought i could turn no because it's double ball joints never mind so they go up and down so you can have them you know in weird little poses if you want to have them in you know different poses i try to set it up how the box had it which now I'm not going to be able to get it back there. So moving on. And now everything kind of wants to like not work or work right with me. So, but moving on, you do have this little blast coming out of his mouth here and then give you a lot of extra of these pieces. So that if you want to use them for, you know, mock building or whatever you can. Now it does come out. The only thing about it is, is that red piece is supposed to stay in there. And it likes to come out with it. But it is made up of like this little clear handle here. And then goes into the blast. But like I said, the the little red circular like dish is supposed to stay in there. And then it's hard to get it to go back in once you get it out. Because there's not a lot of room there <laughs> between like the teeth. Now the teeth, you got like your little basilisk fangs. If you've got the Chamber of Secrets set. You got some more little teeth over here. His eyes are like these transparent blue pieces that have this like, I, I don't know. The eyes look incredible in this set. I don't know if they've ever been in another set, but you can see it's like a transparent like blue and like kind of shiny and like glittery. It looks amazing. And on the light, I actually can't see it like in person, but you see this like little aura around the pupil there. It's not showing up really, like I can barely see it in real life, but when it hits the light in the video, you can see it pop out. So that's really cool. Something I didn't even notice. You do have a bunch of stickers on it, as you can see up top there. And I mean, I just absolutely love this set, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you. I think this is one of the better sets that I've ever bought. And I've bought, you know, some pretty nice, nice sets. So it's just a, it, it was such an underrated movie, in my opinion. Like not a lot of people liked it. And I think it was such a great movie. And to get a set from it is so awesome. Now the dragon or the great protector does pop off. It does, it will have this little, little knob here on it. That's how it attaches to the base there. But if you're just, you know, wanting to play with this, you can, you know, take it down and like fly it around or, or whatever you want to do, you know, have it actually like fight stuff and whatnot. So it is pretty cool in that regard that you can do that if you want. Of course, I'm a displayer. So I'm going to pop him back down on here and that's how I'm going to display him. And these little pieces over here, of course, are for uh, Win Woo to fight with shang chi so you just put them on these little blasts here and 
I mean, it looks kind of awkward, but you can tell they're supposed to be like fighting there. You know, let me get it closer for you guys. There you go. You can kind of see they're supposed to be fighting around the great protector there. And then the base here, again, nothing special about the base. It's just a little circular hole, supposed to be water, some base, like triangular base plates down there, like nothing very special. And you can have them fight a little bit better if you don't have the great protector on there. So if you wanted to display it like a dueling, to me, that's exactly what it reminds me of. Like, um, Anakin and Obi-Wan's duel or the Darth Vader and Obi-Wan duel or Rey versus Kylo Ren, you know, any like duel you can really think of. Like you can sit here and move these things back and forth and actually have them fight and hit each other. So kind of what that piece reminds me of if you don't have the great protector on it of course if you do it doesn't move up as far it kind of stops but yeah guys i mean this thing is covered in stickers too and y'all know how much i hate stickers so to say this is a good st set and it has like stickers all the way down like just look at that stickers everywhere up top all the way the tail i think looks really cool with these little pieces on it but the head as well with those little pieces looks really cool. And then you've actually got a little flipper here behind the eye. I forgot to mention that. It's like a little like like diver's flipper. And that's used as like, like an eyelid type deal. But all in all, really cool set. I really like it. I encourage you, if you enjoyed the movie as probably much as I, you sh should be able to tell now that I did that you go pick up this set while it's still available. And yeah, like, I don't I don't know guys, really cool set. I mean, there's really nowhere to put these three minifigures on the set. I kind of just, I store my sets with my minifigures or display them with my minifigures. So I just kind of plop them down wherever I can, you know, find a spot for them where they can, you know, stand. I don't even know, oh, I had them right here. Well, I thought I had him right there, but I can't get him back up there now. But it's just because of his weapon. But I kind of just plop them down wherever they will go. Like, she'll go over here next to Shang-Chi somehow or another. I had them all up there before I decided to do this video. Now that I'm doing it, I can't get them up there for you. So, you know, that's usually how things work for, for me. I get them. And well, whatever you you get the purpose like I have them stored like together But anyway guys gonna get out of here kind of finished for this video probably went a little bit longer than I wanted it to But if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button like smash it for me Give me some love. I need it. I need a hug uh, Consider subscribing Also need that I'm like one away from 60 now and it's been like that for like a week now i think or two weeks something like that and leave a comment telling me what you liked or didn't like about the video and i will catch you on the next one